everyone, I'm Cymatics, and we're here to play Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. This is a Sherlock Holmes, well, as you see, Cthulhu-based game. There is no shame in asking for help. Press LB to highlight interactions near you. Cool. It's raining, and there's a red stripe. Chapter 1, The Shadow Over London. Baker Street. That's where Holmes is. That's crazy. Hey, how are you doing, buddy? How are you? How are you? Dr. Watson, would you kindly close the door behind you so that we can limit the price of your carelessness to merely hours of work rather than days? My apologies, That'd Mr. Be nice. Holmes. I found myself rather taken aback. <laughs> I saw tidy houses in war-torn Afghanistan. Okay. Perhaps my surgical needles. I ran out of tax and the matter required immediate attention. Was that oh. my supper? Plainly not, for I was the one who ate it. Hmm, I set it aside for this evening. And for that, I am grateful. Is that my bed? Yes. Watson, since you've proven yourself a master of observation, might I ask you to apply your skills to a more pertinent question? Namely, the whereabouts of today's newspapers. I see. They are the key to everything. Are they now? boy is usually reliable. Medically speaking, I often find that the key to everything is good sleep. In a bed. Your papers are here, on the table. To see what the postman brought today. And welcome to the game. Use LS to move around and press A to interact with objects. Well, what do I need to interact with? Maybe this? Ooh! Huh? Oh! Let's look closer. Inspect the London Advertiser, September 28th, 1882. Tensions between England and Sweden are running high after a series of unfortunate mishaps during a recent visit to London by Swedish Princess uh, Ildur. Chief among the scandals uh, was um, uh, the embarrassment of the British diplomatic cor uh, corps as a result of the unexplained disappearance of Princess Ildur's uh, personal bodyguard. The longtime member of her inner circle uh, took the opportunity to explore London while off duty and never returned from his late night promenade. A spokesman for the police assures the advertiser uh, that they are confident the bodyguard will be located as he is a striking representative of the Scandinavian people. A man like that gets noticed whether by his peers at the gentlemen's clubs or the fair uh, nightingales who comfort them. All right. Local gossip, all of it uninteresting. Yes. Your order from Barnes Bookshop has arrived, Doctor. Barnes insists on delivering the books to our door, even though we could easily walk to his shop. That's good service. Certainly is. What do we got here? Another letter from Verna. I never reply, but they keep coming. Oh. Who's Verna? Is this a character I'm not aware of? Strand. Where is it? Pardon me? I am on the precipice of uncovering a pattern of crime across London spanning many months and involving many men. The missing paper cannot be a coincidence. That's preposterous. My dear fellow, Life is infinitely stranger than anything which the mind of man can invent. Well, life used your newspaper to wipe its posterior, so after that unpleasant discovery this morning, I disposed of it. Interesting! But strand, perhaps I can deliver you something equally tantalizing. I have just returned from a patient of mine, Captain Stemwick, who... No, no, that will not do. Grab your coat, Dr. Watson. Let us hope nobody has collected the dustbin. Okay, I guess we're doing this now. Cool. Uh, oh! What? What does that mean? What does that mean? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Well, we got we got pluses and minuses. What does that mean? The dustbin is yours for the digging, Mr. Holmes. Hmm. Do I do I leave? Do, okay. The, is this the dustbin? No, that's not the dustbin. Where's the dustbin? Why are you following me? 
It's a rainy. It's rainy today. Why not dress in something more appropriate for the weather? Open the casebook. Okay, and put on a hat. What? I can put on what? What? I can. Is that a fez? <laughs> oh, perfect. It's perfect. Oh, it's perfect. Oh. Oh, the customization is great. Oh my gosh. We gotta look like this. I mean, come on. No, I don't have scars. No. And what 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 shall I wear? This doesn't look right. What well what do we got? <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. And Watson? Watson's gonna look fancy. I'm going to look like this. So do we go... I, I presume we go outside, but I could be wrong. Yeah, let's go outside. Let's press any button to continue. And I'm at Baker Street. Uh, where am I supposed to be? Where am I supposed to go? Um, where do I gotta go? Hey, uh, Watson brought the morning of uh, the, the, the strand is missing. You disposed of it uh, before entering the. Oh. Which means that. I guess around here somewhere? Yeah, it's in here. Let me guess. That! Wait, but that's a needle. The and cactus I spine. If it gets in your skin, it's awfully tricky to remove, and when laced with poison, the perfect assassination tool. Oh, really? That's that's good to know, I guess. And look You're at mistaken, this. mistaken, Dr. Watson. The paper was indeed dirtied, but not how you implied. It's potting soil. See, Watson, the conspiracy is real. Someone tried to poison me. Poison? You? That's madness. I don't think so, Watson. Strand is missing. Uh, cool. That's crazy. It's in the bin. Do I talk with Watson? No, do I, do I go inside? Do you even have enemies that would want to kill you? Okay, perhaps from Cordona. Yes, from Cordona. Do I just go outside? Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Oh? Sorry, Mr. Holmes. I just sold my last paper. Gloss. No, you didn't. Then why are you still here? Boss pays by the hour. No sense in returning early. Oh! What happened to my newspaper? Uh, what were today's- What were today's headlines? Any breaking news today? The dock accident. It's the talk of the town. Really? Yes, yes. Besides the tribe on the front page, anything about burglaries? I'm not sure, sir. Okay. What happened to my newspaper? You're a bright child. I presume you see everything that goes on around here? Nothing gets past me, mister. Then really? Me, did you notice anyone suspicious at my door this morning? Hmm. Like the man with your newspaper? Precisely. What do you know? I know the value of a shilling. Dr. Watson. Ah. Cool. Now I can take the day off. Yeah! What did he do to the paper? Tell me what... Where, where, uh, where was he headed? Which way did he go? Not sure. I was distracted by customers. Sorry. So I don't know where he went. Can you describe the man you saw? He was carrying a lot of books. Up to his chin they were. Really? Never heard of a well-read assassin. Looks can deceive. Hence the appeal of disguises. That is true. Did you see what he was up to? Nah, not really. I saw him approaching your house, but I had a customer. Then there's a loud bang. I ducked down. Not because I was scared, because I wasn't. I had to protect the merchandise. And all I could see was him kneeling at your door. All right. You earned your shilling. That'll be all. Thanks, Mr. Holmes. Maybe I could be your eyes and ears, if you have more shillings. That's fair! You've got a new question in your mind's palace. Open the Get case Get the book. strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Interesting. My mind's palace? Who ruined the strand? I don't know. Book from Barnes. Cactus Spine. Well, the Cactus Spine and the... Who ruined the strand? What? 
Oh. The newsboy's testimony. And then the cactus spine. Hey! Barnes, the local bookseller. What? The newsboy said the suspicious man who is carrying a stack of books. And this morning, Mr. Barnes, the local bookseller, delivered a novel for Dr. Watson. A cactus spine for assassination. Loud bang. A visit to Mr. Barnes is in order. Interesting. I would like to visit Mr. Barnes. Can I Wonder go? Mr. Holmes murder? Yes, Barnes has his quirks, but he also has his scruples. Yes. Not every pawn knows Get it's part strand. of the game. Get your copy of the strand here. Yes, and exactly where? Uh, pin the evidence with the bookshop photo by pressing. Oh, the bookshop photo. Ada. Bones bookseller. Let's mark the evidence. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. And where, where, where's the, where's the, where's the place? Pin the evidence with bookshop photo by pressing, try it, try and find it? Uh oh. All right, I guess I'm just gonna run around town then. I haven't, I've, oh, Barnes Bookshop. Well, is that, is that the bookshop? I have a feeling that might be the bookshop, especially since it says, well, Barnes Bookshop. That might be a dead giveaway. Why go through all this scheming to murder you? A spine stuck to the newspaper is hardly lethal. Yeah. I'm going to observe you. Let's observe you. I would like to observe your face. Bags under eyes. The effects of overwork. Oh. Hi. And what? What are you reading? Uh, ink, newspaper ink. I see. Anything down here? Yes. Leans heavily on his right leg. Sore left leg. Ah! High heels. Wants to look taller. I see. Mr. Barnes uh, has large bags under his eyes, the results of poor sleep. Uh, he has developed a limp, likely the result of an attack. He wears high heels to look taller or stronger, presumably to, to uh, deter future violence. Mr. Barnes is being threatened by someone and might be involved in a plot. Workaholic. Mr. Barnes has developed a limp and has Oh, I see. I see. So, I presume I can be wrong. <laughs> Nevertheless, Mr. Barnes could still be a pawn in a bigger plan without his knowledge. Well, I don't know anything about this man. Okay. Neat. Mr. Barnes? Can I be oh, wrong? <sighs> oh, for goodness sake. Who is that? Hey, Mr. Barnes. Who, uh, who goes there? Sherlock Holmes. Now, will you please? Mr. Holmes. Golly, I did not see you come in. Would you care to answer some questions for me? Well, I wish I could, but I am deep in the weeds with work. I see. How about we, uh, reschedule in a month or two? Come now, Mr. Barnes. It will only take a moment. Really deep in the weeds with, uh, with important things. So uh, help yourself to any book. Just take it and pay later. I trust you, Mr. Holmes. Barnes doesn't seem like himself. Why is he acting this way? You're asking the right questions, Doctor. Let's find yeah. a way to coax him out. Interesting. So he is being blackmailed, I guess. Probably. Maybe I should have guessed that he was being blackmailed. Instead of whatever I pegged him for earlier. A oh, catalog of exotic plants on Barnes counter. The name of the catalog reads Everlasting Plants for an Everlasting Love. I see. Well, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. 
Wait, what? Did I see something? Did I see something? Oh, what is that? Basics of cryptoanalysis, cryptography in Egypt. It appears Barnes has an interesting hobby. Yes, you do have an interesting hobby. Quite the interesting one indeed. So exactly what am I doing? I'm just looking for stuff and numbers are going up. The numbers are probably my brain. My massive brain intellectual prowess and stuff like that. What, what Mr. Holmes is known for. An improvised stand, but it does make the flowers more visible. Sure does. Let's go ahead and unmark whatever the evidence was. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. What are these flowers? In the language of Mycroft's secret agents, it's a sign. Dried flowers are replaced when the job is done. I wonder who the recipient is. Yes, dead flowers. Hey, maybe he you. Finest view London has to offer. I see. The ladder is broken recently, judging by the freshness of the wood. I see. So he was attacked. Barnes, a broken ladder. Interesting. Is that a dog? So Barnes has a dog now. Who's a good boy? Oh, can I pet you? So Barnes has a dog now. Who's a good boy? Ah, oh, but I want to pet the booby. Let's make a mind palace connection. Maybe this one. Uh, exotic plants catalog. Looking for bonds. I need three pieces of evidence. Strand is missing. Dead flowers on display. Character portrait of Mr. Barnes. Oh! I see. I see. So I use the character portrait as evidence. Okay. Fun. So I need one of these. Newsboy's testimony. Mr. Ball Barnes is involved in the scheme. I do imagine that he is involved in the scheme. Dead flowers on display. That could be... Yes. Crypt cryptology. No. Barnes broken ladder. Exotic plants catalog. Maybe this. Wow, that wasn't it. Oh, I probably have to talk with you. The weather is dreary, isn't it? To be fair, my flowers could use the rainfall. That is true. Flowers? I see. Encouraging people to stop and smell the roses? Our national emblem. God save the queen. Okay. Cactus! Familiar spine? Is this what I found in my dustbin? Probably. Familiar spine. I'm gonna say yes. Ah! Oh! It's damaged. The blow was severe, but softened by something. Which means bad things for me. You must take patience and care to produce a bloom so beautiful. I imagine so. I merely sell them. I see. Are you involved Anything in? Tickle your fancy, Mr. Holmes. Are you involved in me being, like, potentially going to be murdered soon? What do I have to look at? Distant look. Avoids eye contact or distracted. Uh, maybe because you're going to kill me? Wearing makeup for beauty or concealment. Yes. Maybe you could be trying to kill me. Honoring deceased husband. The morning... Yes, the brooch. The brooch. The wonderful brooch. Luxury fabric. Unusual for work attire. Interesting. Anything else? How about the puppy? This. Clean boots. Change shoes upon arrival. Huh. Ready to move on? Still grieving. I don't think... She, I think she's still grieving. Miss Fleming uses makeup. Yep. I think that you're still grieving. My condolences, Mrs. Fleming. Mr. Holmes? Your husband's death. You're clearly still in mourning. Wow! Oh, no. I loved him more than anything, of course, but that was some time ago now. Life goes on. A lesson we all learn, one way or another. I see. Uh, provide evidence. What evidence do I provide? Oh, probably the, uh... Uh, the cactus spine. One of these things is not like the other. 
Yes. Come again? The cactus. Those fearsome spines can prove a devil to remove. And the sap is often toxic. And yes. the rosethorn can give you tetanus, but we still grow them. The cactus seems comparatively harmless. Though you have me thinking it must be valuable. I was under the impression that you knew its price already. Your guess is as good as mine. The first time I saw this cactus was when I came back from my break. Ah! Miss Fleming claims she doesn't know how the cactus appeared. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Fascinating, fascinating. Maybe I also must state that Mr. Fleming... Or Mr. Barnes is... Huh. Are you sure you're asking the right person? I'm just a flower seller. Cool. What do you make of the flowers in Barnes' shop window? Well, they could use a bit of water. Do they mean anything to you? Mean anything how? I'm not sure I follow Mr. Holmes. Why do you think they're there? Are you suggesting the flowers are for me? It seems likely, does it not? Oh. I hope you're right. Maybe. There are several books about the cryptology Barnes counter. The books are a ward and not for sale. I see. Are you familiar with Mr. Barnes? Yes. No, not really. Well, in a way. What on earth does that mean? I know who he is, of course. But we haven't shared much more than a look. A look? Yes. Each morning I go for a walk in the park with my dog. And most days I spot Mr. Barnes there with his new puppy. So yes. we see each other. Actually, we once met briefly while our dogs played. He was quiet and seemed unsteady as he approached. But since then, we've never spoken. I often see him staring through the shop window. Sometimes I wonder what he thinks about that would etch such longing onto his face. Probably you. Probably thinks about you. Five evidence updates. Oh. Oh. I see. I see! Dead flowers on display! Uh, book from Barnes. Roses for sale. Cactus. Cracked pot. Miss Fleming on Barnes. No, uh... Yeah! Mr. Barnes is in love with Miss Fleming! Barnes displays a bouquet of dead flowers to attract the attention of Miss Fleming. Uh, a florist... Uh, he may hope she will come into his shop and give him watering advice, or it could simply be a symbol of desperation. Uh, Barnes anonymously uh, gifted her a cactus, which he ordered from the catalog on his counter. A questionable choice, but for Barnes, a symbol of his eternal love, since the catalog presents these uh, cacti as immortal. Plainly, this is the same cactus he dropped on uh, the Strand outside uh, Baker Street, uh, now to hear the full story. Yes. So it wasn't a murder hmm. plot. I uh, think perhaps I have been chasing shadows. Do not despair, Mr. Holmes. Even the best of us make mistakes. Yes. You better tell Mr. Barnes what we've learned. Yes. We shall. We're looking for a cactus needle in a haystack. <sighs> Hmm. Hey, Mr. Barnes! Mr. Barnes, I know what you did, and I know why you did it. I'm sorry, Wha Mr. Holmes. Wow. I can't hear you very well from behind the door. Miss Fleming! You ordered a cactus from the plant catalogue and then left it for Mrs. Fleming as a gift. You place flowers in the window to get her attention and wear high heels to appear taller and more desirable. You are her secret admirer. Yes! I couldn't read this morning's edition of The Strand because it was covered in soil and spines. I know you dropped a cactus on it and then fled. Barnes, it's Dr. Watson. Rest assured we are not interested in disclosing your personal affairs to anyone, including Mrs. Fleming. Please come out. Uh, all right, then. Is he being deaded? He might be deaded. No, he's not being deaded. So, you know what happened then? I was on my way back from the post office, having picked up the cactus and some books. It was quite an awkward package, heavy too, and when I got to your door, I dropped the cactus in your paper. Forgive me. 
I needed that paper to prove a theory and prevent a crime. Your actions were rather disruptive. Your clumsiness carrying the post is matched only by the clumsiness of your romantic gesture. Oh, it's true. Aww. I am useless with this sort of thing. I'm not even sure if Mrs. Fleming noticed. Oh, she did. This isn't really my area. I know what to do. Well, it's not really my area. This, uh, let's help him out. As in most things in life, truth is the answer. Cease with the obtruse signals and anonymous gifts and simply talk to the woman. What is the worst that can happen? She rejects you and you are freed from this endless purgatory. That... Yeah. Yes, you are correct, of course. I do have a slight tendency to overthink things. Interesting. Thank you. So, at last, we return to the matter of the paper. I'm investigating a string of burglaries. Did you perhaps read of any before the edition was spoiled? I don't recall, but you're welcome to read our copy for yourself. You had Absolutely. an issue of the Strand here all along? Well, naturally. I am a bookseller. I have a subscription to every magazine and newspaper in London. So you ought to be familiar with the concept of burying the lead. I... Oh, no. Uh, my Pardon? apologies, Mr. Holmes. I'll make it up to you however I can. I am an expert on obscure languages and translation and... and uh... Yes, yes, okay. Just give me the paper. Uh, that sounds good. Err, saltpeter, explosion, rocks, docks. Locals at the port of London had a rude awakening last night uh, with loud bangs and thick red smoke disturbing the peace. Merchant ship uh, M Moskva, Moskva had docked at Pier N3 in the early evening uh, en route uh, to Europe uh, when it was rocked by several concussive explosions. The port authority is yet to comment, uh, comment on uh, the incident, and it is unknown if any uh, crew members were on board at the time. Uh, eyewitnesses report seeing saltpeter uh, leaking into the river, but with the area still off limits uh, to workers and the public, it may be some time before we have a full account of what transpired. Come, Dr. Watson. Let us put this matter behind us. Farewell, Mr. Barnes. I hope to hear good news about you and Mrs. Fleming. Yes, I would prefer to hear good news. Can I go in here? No? Oh, it's a puppy! Alright. Well, it, it seems like I can look at something else. I can probably look at something else. In fact, it's confirmed I can look at something else. What can I look at? Well, that was an utter waste of time. An assassination did seem rather unlikely. There was supposed to be another burglary. I was certain of it. Hmm. Something you wish to say, Doctor? No. Well, only that you have a remarkable faculty for deduction and pattern recognition. And that perhaps, if ill-applied... I see things that are not there. Yes. It is London. There will always be burglaries. Doesn't have to mean anything. So it seems. Forgive me. Without something to occupy my mind, I turn into an entirely different animal. Which brings us back to my news from earlier. I think I have a case for you, a real one. Truly, oh. indeed. Though perhaps not as thrilling as your stories from Cordona. A patient of mine, Captain Stenwick, told me that his servant disappeared. I said I knew just the man to help. What do you say? Oh, Watson. Yes, I know it's not the most tantalizing mystery nor the story to launch my writing career, but it's brilliant. Let's go. Oh, good. Well, his house is nearby. Come. I see. The mansion. Perfect. Is this mansion? Yes. Mansion. It's located on the same street as Barnes's bookshop. Uh, it seemed like this way. Probably. Is this the mansion? No, it's not the mansion. Oh, that's probably the mansion. That's pro that, yeah. Not much further now. I see. Yeah, thank you. Is this lousy attitude of yours because of my altercation with Inspector Lockhart? Did he put you up to this? Likely. Sir, the inspector has nothing to do with it. I'm telling you the same thing I tell anyone seeking a missing person. <clears throat> Good day, gentlemen. Forgive the intrusion. 
Captain Stenwick, this is my colleague Sherlock Holmes, the consulting detective I told you about. At last, a professional. This useless officer refuses to do anything about Kimmy here. Really? My missing servant. What was your name again? I shall be certain to inform your superiors. Sergeant Ruffles. And it's my superiors who made this decision, sir. Interesting. Other missing people, or why won't you investigate? Well, it is curious that other people might be going missing. Have there been other disappearances lately? Of course, here and there. But when life is tough and opportunity comes knocking, you can't blame those who answer. That's... well, that could also be connected to the other people that are going missing. Why has the police department decided not to help? We investigate murders, thefts, fraud, arson, real crimes. A servant walking away from his master is not our highest priority. That said, if we find Kimahia breaking the law, we'll be sure to notify Captain Stenwick. Now, I must be off. Best of luck in your search. <laughs> you heard that, didn't you? The way that man spoke to me. I shall need your written testimony. Then we can lodge a complaint. Captain, perhaps Mr. Holmes' time is better spent learning about your servant, so that he may begin his investigation. Ah, yes. Quite right. Fire away. It is quite true. Can you describe... Tell me about Kim here. He's foreign. A Maori. All the way from New Zealand. Biggest man you've ever seen. And really? the strongest, too. Dark hair and fearsome tattoos. He doesn't speak a whit of English. Never bothered to learn. But I made do with pointing. I invested a lot of money in him, so he must be found. Huh. Sounds cool. When did you last see your servant? Kimmy here normally brings me the morning papers, but yesterday I had to get them myself. He must have escaped the night before yesterday. I don't think he escaped. I think he might have been kidnapped. May I see your servant's bedroom? His shack is in the garden. You can't miss it. Did you search the room? Of course, but only to check he wasn't lying dead inside. Everything seemed normal at a glance. All right. Why would he run? Is there any reason Kimahir may have left? I should think not. He had all he could have wanted. Gainful employment, new clothes, and all the cabbage he could eat. I see. Did he steal anything? Did Kimahir make off with anything of value? Heavens, no. I would have mentioned it to Sergeant Ruffles. Still, he must have fled with some money on his person. No, no. I kept his wages in my safe. For security. Huh. I take it this is the first time Kimahir has vanished? Undoubtedly. The man seemed terrified of the city. I think it was all the noise. He never left this estate. Should he cause any what? damage, I will bear the responsibility. For it was I who rescued him from savagery and brought him here to England in the first place. All right, Captain. I think I have enough to get started. We shall first take a look around the mansion. Go ahead. I'll be here, mentally drafting my complaint. What? But it doesn't seem like any... any problems. Like... I, I think that someone was at, was kidnapped. Someone was kidnapped. And you're you're complaining about the him running away? No, he was kidnapped. Anyway, that's that's all the time I really have for this episode. So uh, thank you for watching, and uh, like uh, I guess goodbye.